welcome to Kitchen Chemistry with Essential Wholesale and Labs. I'm Tinika, and today we're going to make a sensual massage bar. Okay, to make your sensual massage bar, you'll need a few ingredients, starting with deodorized cocoa butter wafers. You'll also need organic shea butter. You'll also need organic jojoba oil. And finally, celestial essential oil blend. Okay, so we're going to put our essential oil aside and take our cocoa butter, shea butter, and jojoba oil. And first thing, we're going to add our cocoa butter to either a pot or I'm using a beaker here, so you'll need something to melt these in. And you'll also need a hot plate. So just uh, take your cocoa wa butter wafers and your jojoba oil. and put those on your hot plate and turn it on until they're melted. Okay, so we've melted down our jojoba oil and our uh, deodorized cocoa butter wafers. And you can see it's right at about 162 um, Fahrenheit. You don't really wanna go hotter than that. And now I'm going to add the shea butter. And the reason that I add the shea butter off heat is that shea butter is really sensitive to heat. So you want to gently melt shea butter so that you don't get those crystals um, that feel kind of gritty. So we'll just add our shea butter now and mix that in and the residual heat should melt that. Occasionally I will put, um, I will put the uh, container back on the burner um, without turning the heat on if I have too much shea butter to just melt with my other my other oils or butters. We'll just mix that so that it melts a little quicker. At least in my mind it melts quicker. I'm not sure if that's true. So as you're, as you're letting your shea butter melt here, it's also bringing down the temp of the other oils, um, which helps uh, because you don't want to add your essential oils um, at a high heat. They're volatile oils and they burn off pretty quickly, so you basically will just be burning off your oils if you add them at a high heat. So you want to bring that down as low as possible. I found that about somewhere between 125 and 130 Fahrenheit um, is right where your butters start to solidify again, just barely starting to solidify. So if you add your essential oils at that point, um, hopefully they'll hold in the oils and butters. And I found that to be pretty true. So if we check the temperature now, we're at about 116. So that might be a little low to melt the shea butter. So I'm going to just pop it over to the burner for just a second. Oh, it melts already. Okay, now our shea butter is fully melted. Checking the temp, it's about 126. So I'm going to go ahead and add my essential oil blend before it cools down too much. And you just pour that right in. Oh my gosh, this essential oil blend is one of my very favorites. If you haven't tried it, you're gonna just love this. It is definitely a sensual, beautiful smell. Okay, make sure that's mixed very well. Okay, now you're ready to make your bars. So I have a few tricks here. Let me grab my molds. So I like these little heart-shaped molds because, of course, it's essential um, massage oil blend. And I also have this mold um, that I'm going to pour into. And it's a really beautiful peacock and flower, but you can't really see them. So optionally, um, you could, of course, just pour the mold and enjoy the, um, uh, the outcome. But I think I want a little color. So I'm taking pomegranate juice powder, and I'm just going to sprinkle it into the mold so that it gives just a little pop of color to the bar once it's finished. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, you can make it perfect, I guess. I'm not sure how, but I suppose if you wanted to get little droppers and try to drop it into each individual flower, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do this. 
Okay, I think that's going to give it a really nice color and just make it a little extra fancy. Okay, so you simply take your melted butters and oils and pour it into the mold. And the same with your other ones. And I really like these silicone molds because it's super easy to get these out. Okay, so I suppose if I wouldn't have done the peacock mold, we would have more than enough to fill this whole tray of heart molds. So it's that easy to make your massage bar. I'm going to go and put these in the fridge. It's always best to cool your shea butter um, quickly so that it doesn't form crystals um, and also be sure not to overheat. So I'm going to put these in the fridge and you'll see the results in the photo. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoy your new sensual massage bars and please subscribe to our channel for more great videos.